Today in this video we are going to discuss about how to manage the multi branches in Odo. In Odo the multi branches means the multi companies. Let's see how it manages. First of all you need to activate the developer mode in from general settings or you can give on URL as the debug equal to 1 then the developer mode is activate now I already activate the developer mode uh, first uh, if you want to create a new company here is the option uh, to create a new company and here is some field to add the company details uh, and here is an option for to specify the parent company and here I already created a company called test company and next is let's see how to how the user get access from the uh, access of the particular company so I go into user options and currently Michel admin is the user of this account and from the Michel admin to access the multi company first of all you need to enable the multi company option here and here is the another two option called allowed companies and default companies allowed companies means uh, the the companies that are allowed for allowed the access to the users and here you can specify the default company if you want to change the default company you can click on edit and you can select which company that you want and uh, also you can you should activate from here and refresh the pages after that you can get the access of the new company if you want to access the company called my company chicago you want to you want to click as my company chicago and you also activate my chicago from here and refresh the pages okay and say now and save it when I come to sales module now I'm creating a quotation for a particular company by selecting a customer here as Azure interior and I adding a product uh, acoustic block screen and here we can see a other info and from this page we can see an option called demo company here we can specify which company that we, that we want to send the quotation it can be listed all companies that you created in the general settings and you can save it here similarly it can be seen on the purchase module also uh, when you if you want if you create an RFQ for particular company you can first of all you can select your vendors here and add the product from the other information here is a uh, is an option for selecting the companies these all companies we already created in the general settings so you can manage the multi companies from the purchase module next is from inventory module a company have more than one warehouse to keep the stock or keep the products so here we can manage if uh, the demo company have more uh, for a particular company have more than one warehouse 
so here we can see the warehouses that we pre already created if you want to create a new warehouse for a demo company click on create and here you can specify the name of the warehouse and here the here the company's demo company if you uh, have the access on my company chicago you can create the warehouse of the my company chicago and uh, after filling this you can save it here uh, here we can here is a error that uh, here need to specify the short name after that it will be saved Next is from the accounting module. I'm going to general lecture. Here we can see a journal all option. When we click on option, here we can see demo company. So here list the journals that list out all this all journals are under the the journals under in the demo company if you uh, so if you uh, if the user have access on any other company like test company uh, then here will be list out the, the journals of the test company Uh, this is the way the multi companies that uh, that manage the multi companies using the accounting module that's all thank you